And as the war in Ukraine drags on, opponents of President Vladimir Putin face a risky decision. Do they challenge the Kremlin and speak out against the war? Well, Putin's critics face danger, even death, for speaking out. Details from CNN senior international correspondent Matthew Chance. It takes a certain type of bravery to stand up to the Kremlin. Across the country, police using arrests and beatings to crush dissent against the Ukraine war. Some anti-war protesters even drafted into the army in a cruel punishment for pacifism. Political opposition, always a risky business in Putin's Russia, is now essentially outlawed. With prominent opposition leaders like Ilya Yashin, recently sentenced to eight and a half years in jail for criticizing the conflict. This will all end soon, he shouts in defiance, but there's little real reason for optimism. This was Vladimir Karamaza, another leading Russian opposition figure in Moscow back in 2015 after surviving a suspected poisoning at the hands of Kremlin agents. He was allegedly poisoned again in 2017 and survived that too, only to be imprisoned last April on charges ranging from disobeying the police to treason. The price of silence, Karamazov wrote from jail, was simply unacceptable. But the price of speaking out against Putin's Russia is extraordinarily high too. Case in point, the former president of Georgia, whose country lost the brief war with Russia in 2008. My small nation will never give up freedom, will never give a square mile. Two years ago, Mikhail Saakashvili was imprisoned in Georgia and what his supporters say were trumped up charges. Now, this one-time Putin foe is at death's door, allegedly poisoned too, and accusing Moscow of orchestrating his plight. The Kremlin rejects the allegation, but his family are adamant. To put somebody in this state after just a year of imprisonment, that's, that was unexpected. But for years, Kremlin critics have been ruthlessly silenced. Like Anna Politkovskaya, Russia's most prominent investigative journalist, mm -hmm. until she was gunned down in her Moscow apartment building in 2006. Or Alexander Litvinenko, a former Russian FSB agent, poisoned in London in the same year with a radioactive isotope. In 2018, a former Russian spy, Sergei Skripal, and his daughter were poisoned in Britain using a potent nerve agent. They survived. Three years before, Russia's leading opposition figure, Boris Nemtsov, was shot dead within sight of the Kremlin. Of course, the Kremlin denies any connection to any crime. But exiled, jailed, poisoned or killed is how so many of Putin's critics seem to end. Matthew Chance, CNN, London.